Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to teach you how to paint a sunset for under $10. You're going to need paint brushes. I bought these at a Hobby Lobby because they were cheap as shit and I got multiple sizes at once. You're going to need one of these things to put your paint in. I can't remember what they're called. You're going to need some paint. We're going to use gouache here today because, uh, well, I got it free from school and I don't want to pay for paint, so that's what we're going to use today. Okay, so we're trying to keep your budget down, so if you're like me and you don't have one of the things to hold up your thing to paint on, okay, I took an old tripod from a camera, I took uh, my portfolio, but you can just use a piece of a decent sized cardboard and go ahead and just tape it onto the tripod, see here. And the very last thing you're going to need is a blank uh, canvas, whether you want to use actual canvas, this is just a harder white paper. You can use actual canvas for this, although if you use actual canvas, it might be harder to attach it. All you got to do is attach it here. All right, now that you have all of your supplies together and you have your location picked out for your beautiful sunset that you're going to paint, let's go ahead and go paint it. The key to painting a good sunset is to paint as fast as possible because the sunset does not last very long. So uh, here we go. Okay, now at this point you've painted as much of the sunset as you possibly can before the sun had completely set. And if you're anything like me, you've realized that you paint at the level of a fourth grader. So here's an alternative. Open up the camera app on your phone. Now once you've opened the camera app on your phone, the next thing you do is take a picture of said sunset. Okay, so now at this point you have your picture that you actually just took. You didn't text somebody and have them send you a picture of a good sunset that they took. Enter the Google Play Store if you're on an Android device or if you're an Apple device, enter your store there. Okay, so once you're inside of your App Store, go ahead and go to the search and you will see that I already searched photo effects, so you want to search photo effects. And then you're going to choose this photo art color effects because it just looks better than the other one. You click to install. I've already installed it, so let's just open it up. And then you want to choose a picture from your gallery. You then select your photo. Okay, now once you're inside of the app, you're going to want to go ahead and go down here to brush. I don't know what any of this is. We'll just click that. We'll just draw on the picture here. And as you can see, as I paint this, I got a nice black and white look with a little bit of color in here. Let's just go up in here and see if we can bring some little bits of orange out of there because for some reason orange is the only color I'm getting even though there was other colors in the original picture. See, and now we look like a huge artiste uh, at this point. So let's go to menu, we'll save the gallery. Now to the last and most important step to making everyone think you are just a painting master, you're going to want to go ahead, go to Instagram, and then down here to your gallery, open up your photo gallery. And as you can see, you don't have to crop the photo, it's already the perfect size, how about that? So now we're going to post it on Instagram, but wait, we're going to apply some more filters. Let's try to find another cool one in here to make everyone think we're badasses. Here we go, the lo-fi uh, lo or whatever for this particular picture. I think it looks awesome. So, let's go to next. Let's add a cat uh, caption. Let's go hashtag I'm a badass painter. Hashtag thug life. Hashtag no edit. Hashtag no filter. Hashtag sunset. And then, if you want to, share Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, Flickr, Foursquare, whatever, make everyone else know that you're a badass, you go ahead and click that OK button. And then bam, it finishes up, and then bam, everyone thinks you're a badass on Instagram. They wouldn't even know the difference. And that's just a few easy steps to convince everyone that you're the next Pablo Picasso. Shitty. Three things left to do, as always, comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. Later, guys.